Do you want to be an adult apprentice? Yeah, I'll give you a quick run through on what I've experienced and how I've done it, but I have done it. I am an adult apprentice. Next installment on uh, Midlife Carpentry. Hi guys, Chris, Midlife Carpentry. Um, it's happened. It's it's actually happened. Um, some pretty exciting news I want to share with you uh, this week for this little installment. Don't worry, I've got a sixth installment coming to you. I'm going to do a double whammy this this weekend. Um, basically, because this one this one I think is special because this one is why have I and how have I or the who, what, where, when and how have I got onto becoming an adult apprentice carpenter 2021. Bloody excited guys. I just, I'm still in a bit of awe. Like it's, it's something that I suppose has happened, like it just happened this week, but it's been building up for quite some time. Like this isn't something I've, I've just thought about doing overnight. This is something that I, I really had to, um, well, I had to sell to a lot of people to, to confirm that this is a decision that I wanted to do. Um, this is something that I had basically started six months ago to try and get to this stage, to get to where I am now, where I can officially say that I am a first year apprentice carpenter. And that's, that's huge. It's massive for me, and it, it yeah, it really gets me right here that it's happening. Um, so, the the thing that I wanted to sort of express on this little video is just to give you a quick run through on what what I did, what boxes I ticked, that sort of thing. Like, how did I assess? You know, is is it worthwhile becoming an adult apprentice? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Or is it, is it worth making that decision? Because First of all, I found it hard to find that information. There wasn't a lot of people that actually expressed their, their knowledge about doing this sort of thing. Um, and I thought it'd be nice to share. That's the whole reason why I made the channel and, and started the channel. So I could share with you guys, um, you know, the, the highs and the lows and the experiences of, of what it's like being an apprentice in, in your, in your mid-years, in, in your middle ages. Um, it's midlife carpentry. That's the whole idea. Instead of a midlife crisis, midlife carpentry. I mean, thank your wife for that. She came up with that name. So yeah, love you, Mel. Um, yeah. So guys, my, my decision started um, in December of, of last year. So back in 2020, um, around Christmas time. I this is while I was on holidays and stuff. Done a little bit of thinking. Been thinking about things off and on. For a while about doing this sort of thing and I actually decided to go hang on I'm gonna action this I'm gonna give this a crack um, obviously the first first sort of point of approval is um, is, is your partner um, that's probably the first person you really should have a discussion with if you don't have a partner maybe your family family's another good spot a good place to start so just express what you want to do you may get a bit of kickback from it there's no doubt about that. That will happen. Um, I, I personally, my personal experience, there was a little bit of kickback. Yeah, there was a few comments about whether it, I'm sure of what I want to do and, and whether I should go through with it and, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, but that's all sort of settled down eventually because people see could see the passion I had towards it and the drive I had to want to get it started and to make it happen. Um, so yeah, so it's been it's it's been a bit of a process to get here. Um, I was very lucky and fortunate that the workplace I was working at at the time, um, uh, the, the boss I had was was very open and happy to listen to what I wanted to do and the direction I wanted to head. I think I spoke to him in February initially, um, spun him out a little bit. Um, it spun me about that I was actually literally talking to him about it because it just it started to put things into perspective that okay I'm I'm stepping away from a job here that I've had for you know for five odd years um, with 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 a guy who you know you look up to and you're stepping away from that that comfort zone and that that area that that you built up so 
it's a big deal. It's a huge deal. So, um, but he, he took it really well and, and, he, and he supported me on it and he said, you know, keep us posted on what's going on and, and what's happening. So, and, and, and that I did. Like, I, I started to put the feelers out. I, I started to get the resume out. Like, there wasn't a lot of openings or vacancies for an apprentices at the time. So, I had to really um, sort of, I guess, you, you had to think outside the box a little bit, I guess. Like, if I had to go and sweep floors for six months, I'd go and sweep floors for six months. I didn't care how I got there, all right, as long as I got there eventually. And that was always the plan. So, I, I put resumes out to multiple construction companies. Got a few replies from some guys, which is great, and thumbs up to those who replied and said, hey, got nothing yet. We'll keep your thing on record and um, we'll talk then, um, which was awesome. It was good to get that sort of response because it means that things were happening. Like there, there was actually a little bit of interest there, there from me. So, but I had to keep going and I keep getting knocked back. I keep getting knocked back. I didn't get anything. Yet. Nothing was happening and it wasn't happening fast either. And, you know, I wasn't going to formally resign from my position or leave my job until I knew something was happening until I knew that I had something to go to. Um, I have a family, I have, I have a wife, I have a house, I have mortgages, um, I've got kids, you know, that all that stuff, all those things need to be taken into account. You know, the, the, the money aspect is probably the biggest side of it. That's the biggest thing that was, um, was, <laughs> so that is what is most discussed basically. Is, is, is the financial side of it. So I just kept, I kept applying to places. I, I kept looking out on, uh, Facebook was actually the final straw. Like I, I went to all the others to seek and all the other little um, employment searches and stuff, but Facebook uh, employment search uh, come up with a little prompt. And it's great because it, it gives you prompts of, oh, there's a new advert, advert for, for, for this and for that. And there's labor here and labor there. And it's actually a, a labor at a construction company uh, here in Cairns is you know the, the one I'm working for now so that was the thing I, I, I jumped on board I, I sent him sent him my resume through the following day I gave him a call I said hey did you get my resume what do you think give me your thoughts um, he said yeah I mean, just look at it I think um, and then he basically said hey let's let's arrange a chat so just from simply in, in a lot of the, the decision for for him from what I understood is the fact that I actually followed up with a call and said, hey, what's going on, what's happening? So if you get your resume out to people, that's one thing. Follow up with a quick call and just to confirm that people have it and then their conversations can start because emails are fickle. They are hit and miss sometimes. Like sometimes you think you send a document and you've sent it out to five people and only one person gets it. And for, for whatever reason, yeah, who knows, it gets lost in their inbox or gets sent to their junk or or whatever, every, every company is different, every inbox is different. So yeah, follow up with a phone call, does not hurt. Try and find a contact point to talk to. Um, that's, that's the kicker, that'll get you going. Uh, so I am officially a first year apprentice carpenter. Signed up as of the other week. Um, so it's, it's formally happened. There's, there's, there's definite documentation, it's all in the workings. Um, I start to get some books and stuff like that next week, I believe. Um, uh, as financial support and stuff like that, there is a trade, uh, trade support line that's available to guys out there. So if you are worried about wages, have a chat that, to, to your um, training organisations about that. So how you use that money is entirely up to you. If you're using that money to pay bills, you pay bills. If you want to save it up, buy a car, you buy a car. If, you're, if you want to buy some tools, you buy some tools. It's always good buying tools, eh? That's what we're here for, isn't it? And buying tools. Um, yeah, so look, big, 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 huge thank you. Thank you to everyone who has supported my decision, who who stood beside me, who has helped me and and, and give me a laugh and a chuckle and, and helped me to, to realize that, that this is right, this is, what you want to do, Chris, you, you've got to do it. You've got to go for it. And yeah, with, without that sort of support, then, you know, I would have second guessed what I'm doing. Um, now that I'm in amongst it and I've been doing it for what, three weeks now, they're about system construction. And it just, 
yeah, the fulfillment I have at the end of the day is is refreshing. Like it, it's, I don't know, it's just something you don't get from like sitting at a desk, I guess. I mean, it's, it's a physical fulfillment. Like, you know, you, you're tired, you're, you're, you know, you've had a big day. You, you go up, you have a shower and you wash away all the grit and dirt from your day. And just like, yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, let's do it all again tomorrow. You know, let's get stuck again. So there's just so many aspects of the job that, that yeah, I'm really in a great sense of fulfillment and enjoyment out of. So yeah, it's really awesome. Um, but yeah, so thank you. Thank you to, to definitely to, to, to two guys. I'm going to shout out their names there, Craig and Rob. Um, these, these two lads I've dealt with for a very long time um, and I've got an utmost and great deal of respect for them. Um, absolute legends. Um, but finishing up wasn't an easy decision for me to make, uh, but I really had to do it and um, I'm not glad I have now. And shit, in five, six years' time, who knows, I'm going to be out helping you, you know, build an extension on your house or, or building a deck or something for you. It's like, yeah, I'd be more than happy to do it. Big thank you to those two gents. And a big thank you to obviously all my friends, my family as well, my family especially, my family who have supported me. I mean, my, my folks who have taken the, taken the time to, to, to get the old ute up and running so I could actually use that to, to try and get things started for me. Like that, it's just a massive step to, to help me out, um, help us out technically. It's a family, it's, that's what's going on here. Um, yeah, so that is pretty special. So, yeah, big thanks for the support there from my siblings as well. Um, and biggest, biggest hand to heart to, to Musa, uh, my wife. Uh, babe, I know you may have had your, your, your um, <sighs> regrets about my decision and stuff like that, but this is something that will be better for us in the end. And I appreciate everything that you've done and your understanding for it and, and for helping me to, to move forward and, and get it happening. So, yeah, it means a great deal. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, look, I'm, I'm, look, I'm going to wrap it up there. So in a, in a quick, <coughs> sorry, in a quick rundown, look, quick rundown, if you want to do this sort of thing, so if you do want to become an adult apprentice in Australia, in carpentry, you can be a plumber, you can be an electrician, you can do whatever you bloody well want. No one is going to stop you. You've got to have a crack. There's, people are squealing for trades out there at the moment. It's a big it's a big call for it. So if you can do it and you're interested in it and genuinely interested in it, give it a crack. Try and find a way to get a bit of experience in it first. Have a trial day somewhere. Have a, have a, have a day with, with a mate who does it. And just see whether this is something that you want to do and this is something you'll enjoy. Um, yeah, get amongst it. So get that confirmed first. Make sure the decision is what you want to do. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Get your feedback from everyone. All right? <clears throat> Depending on the relationship you have with your boss and the position you're in, your work and stuff like that, talk to them too. Talk to your colleagues. Talk to other people. Some people know what you're like and say, yes, that's what you need to do. That's, you'll be good at that. Others will say, no, that's useless. Maybe you should try this. Yeah. So, and then once you've done that, start doing your research. Start looking into things, looking at your costs, looking at your budgets, financial, <coughs> confirming you can afford it financially is, is key. It will be hard for a while. There's no doubt about that. And I have no doubt about that we'll be going through that. So yeah, check finances and stuff, do your research, have a chat to people and, and bloody go for it. Like if, if that's what you want to do, if you feel it hand to heart, hand to heart, that's what you want to do, do it. Give it a crack. You know, give it a crack. You just can't sit there wondering and that, that's something I didn't want to do. I didn't want to sit there in five years time and go, I really should have taken that opportunity. You got to do it. Righto guys, Chris, Midlife Carpentry. Um, like I say every week, build on legends. Keep kicking on, doing what you've got to do. This is dragged on a bit, I apologize, but it's all a personal thing for me and I just really wanted to share it with you. Okay, might've been a bit boring, but it's open and honest. It's, it's my opinions, it's my thoughts. 
It's, um, yeah, I think it's everything that the information that I was lacking, the information that I didn't have, um, yeah, is, is there for someone who needs it if they want to. Okay. And anyway, guys, have a crack. If you're going to be an apprentice, if you want to get a trade, go for it. Keep it going. All right. All the best, guys. Build on again.